Good morning. Welcome back to vlog number four. Uh, I'm really enjoying the vlog series. I hope you are too. Thank you to everybody who watched my main haul. That was a doozy. Um, I haven't picked up over 50 pounds at the Goodwill outlet in a while. So anybody who stuck it out for the full hour, I really appreciate it. I hope you saw some new brands or some fun brands that you enjoy. I was going to split that video up, so um, I thought because it was so long, I've been trying to do shorter videos. However, I do have a lot of content to go out this month, so I just figured it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed the length of it, or at least got some work done while you watched it. So today, um, I'm going to do some shipping with you. So I've had quite a few requests to do a shipping video, and I did do a video on packaging. Um, but I don't really think that I covered like the shipping part of it. I feel like I've done it like sporadically throughout my videos, but I've never really dedicated an entire video to it. So I'm going to do shipping today, but I'm also very excited to, um, let you know that today's video, um, I am partnering with a company called Faux Memo. They reached out to me in November. They sent me a printer and asked if I would give an honest review and try it out. And I'd never heard of the company, so I was actually really excited to give it a try. It was actually the first partnership I had ever um, been approached to do, so I was really excited for that too. Um, but the reason I haven't done the review yet is just because the holidays were crazy and I really wanted to dig in and use the printer before I could kind of stand behind it. And it's been wonderful. It was super easy to set up. I've been using it every day. I have it located in my office here on this floor, which is nice because I don't have to do any special formatting with this printer. It's really been kind of a breath of fresh air. It prints really fast. I haven't had any glitches with it yet, knock on wood. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. So I'm gonna show you what I sold yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty good day of sales. Um, so today is Thursday, so I am talking about Wednesday, January 8th. So those, I had $360 roughly in sales yesterday. One bundle sale um, to a customer who has just been amazing. And I know she watches my video sometimes. So Deidre, thank you so much. Like Deidre has ordered from me pretty consistently for the past three weeks and she picked up another bundle yesterday. She's in, She's like a dream customer. So thank you so much. Um, and now that I know what she likes, um, it's fun for me to try to, to shop. Actually, we like very similar things, so it's very easy to pick up stuff um, that I think she would enjoy. So I'm going to show you what sold. I'm going to show you how I print my labels using the phone memo. Um, I do have some footage. I will share that with you. This company reached out to me recently and asked if I would do like an unboxing and demonstration on their label maker. And I was just so excited because I've actually been in the market for a new label maker. As many of you know, I do use the Dymo label maker currently, which I do like. It's a little quirky, which I've mentioned in some of my past videos, but I do like it. However, it is on my computer on the third floor of my house. So I actually run my business on three levels in my house and this is by design. Running up and down the stairs a hundred times a day is my workout. So I have my laundry, my desktop computer is on the third floor and my Dymo printer label is on the third floor. I do all of my shipping on the main level and then the basement is where my studio is and um, and also where I keep all of my inventory. And I've really been wanting to have a label maker on either the, the basement floor or the main level floor. And I want it attached to my laptop because sometimes when I'm running around or doing shipping on the main level, I've really just wanted to be able to plug in somewhere and print um, a label. So this came at such a wonderful time. The woman from the company was phenomenal. And the name of the company is Faux Memo. Their Instagram page is so incredible. And they have actually collaborated with a lot of people who do like scrapbooking 
or journaling. They have little machines that print photos, super hip company. Their packaging is beautiful. Um, so I am here to talk about their label maker. So I, um, a few weeks back when I started talking to the representative there, um, received the labels that come in a packet like this. So the Dymo labels are on a roll that clicks, that goes right into the unit. The way that these work is it's like a stack that um, you set up in back of the unit. So um, these are four by six labels. They sent me 500. I got those, but then just today, today is December 4th when I'm filming this, my box arrived for the actual printer. So I just took the printer out of the box and it is super sleek, which is right in line with the rest of their products. So this is the top. I'm just going to peel this part off. So my plan is to kind of show you what it looks like just out of the box. And then tomorrow I'm going to, this is so nice. Tomorrow I'm going to set up the label maker and um, cause I've already done my shipping for today and I'm going to film my shipping process with it and kind of break down the how to's of the setup and let you know my honest opinion. Um, so this unit is really sharp. So this is the top. This looks like the power button right here. This is where the um, labels will feed into the back is what I'm assuming. And then it must set up this way and then your labels come out the front here. So very sleek. I absolutely love the design. Um, this looks like an on off switch here. So maybe this is your on off switch here and then this is your print button. I'll have to look things over in all of your attachments. So it's not wireless or anything. It will stay plugged in. I'm probably gonna plug it in somewhere here in my office where I do a lot of my filming as well. But I am so very excited and uh, grateful that they reached out to me and I'm happy to have a new printer and I'm happy to discuss it with you. So stay tuned. Oops, I just popped this open. Yeah, look at that. Just kind of pops open like this and then the labels must feed right through here. We have a big family party, not a family party, a work party for my husband Jay this Saturday. So tomorrow we are going into cleaning mode and um, I need to have all my stuff cleared out by then. So wish me luck. Okay, that's it. Let's get into today's vlog. How's everything going this morning, Lou? Anybody out on their walks? You gonna change out of those jammies? Or are you gonna be lazy all day? <laughs> Cutie. Here is my setup for printing my labels, which is usually the first step I take when I am shipping. I will print the label and write on the back what the item is, and then I go fetch it downstairs in my inventory. So anyway, here is the label maker from Fomemo. It's a super sleek design. The labels are fed through the back of the unit. Um, they're not housed inside like in some other models. Um, here is my laptop. So I just wanted to make a note that I had to order, I, I'm sure there are other brands, but I ordered these, this little USB-C to USB OTG adapter. I have a newer MacBook Pro, and so I needed this little um, adapter because I do not have a USB port. So once I ordered that, I got everything connected. The instructions were really simple and I don't want to mess anything up as far as the names go. So this unit is the Fomemo PM246 Thermal 4x6 Shipping Label Printer. So um, this is the bundle over on the left that they offer for $149.99 and then in the middle is if you just want to get the label maker printer and then on the right are your refill labels so you get 500 labels for $19.99 so in addition to the promotion that they're running for the new year if you use the code Lori Tata you will also get an additional 5% off your purchase so I just wanted to zoom in on that so they are Fomemo p-h-o-m-e-m-o.com if you want to check it all out all right so I will get into my shipping now so I'm going to have to get creative as I print these messages, these labels, to make sure that none of my customers' addresses are revealed. So there's going to be some sticky notes involved here. The way that I print my labels, I go into my email account and I just type in the, the keyword awesome. 
Because you know when you sell something, it says awesome news, you just sold, blah, blah, blah. So I go to awesome. <laughs> all of my sales kind of line up and all of the other messages that I've received via email go away. So I click on an item. You can also just go directly, but you go over here and there's your paid label. Then this screen appears right up here. If you can see in, where are we? This little key. There's a print button right there. I also want to note that I have this default setting as label printer. That is what Fomemo calls it. It's just called label printer. Um, I also have an HP printer over here, um, but this I have set to my default setting so it will automatically print the size of the four by six. So we're gonna press print and it's super quick. And one more print over here. So see how I just wrote on the back? These were some lucky embroidered sweatpants. These were from my own collection. I sent offers out on this. I believe it sold for $45 with discounted shipping. So the next item are these Gymshark pants that I got recently at Savers. This sold to a viewer. Thank you so much, Brittany, for buying these. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing for this. So we're gonna click it on that. We're gonna go to the label. I have this set for the paper size, 100 by 150 millimeters. That's basically four by six. And then print again. All right, so there's my next label, and I'm just gonna flip it up without showing any info. And then on the back of these, I am just going to write Gymshark. So I'll know to grab those. And then I'm just going to continue to do that for all of the items. And then we'll go downstairs and pull them. But this machine is really good. So here is my sophisticated shipping system. So I'm gonna grab all these. And I'm gonna take them downstairs and pull from inventory. So I have grabbed a few things because some of the sales came in last night. So I pulled a few things last night, but I'm gonna finish um, grabbing stuff today. And the mailman's gonna be here in like an hour. I do set up USPS Postal Pickup. You can just go right to their website and input all of your information. I would be lost without my mailman. So it is also quite motivating when you know they're gonna be here at 10.30 in the morning and you have to get moving. So once I get my shipping done, I always feel so good about the rest of the day. And then I like to get a few listings in before noon and then I play it by ear. So let's go downstairs. All right, I am going to grab the pants first. So I have those Gymshark pants. So I don't, sorry, I don't um, pre-package a lot of my leggings because a lot of them are black or hard to distinguish between. So if I wrap them in plastic up front, sometimes it's hard to figure out which is which. So I have two bins. This is how I used to do it. You see, I look at these and I mean, I guess this little line on the side tells me I know these are a pair of gap leggings. But when I was packaging them up ahead of time, unless it had a pattern like these LuLaRoe ones, it was really hard for me to figure out a brand. So now what I do is I store them mostly over here. So those Gymsharks were a recent purchase, so they're right here. But then as you can see, these are a pair of Lululemons um, that I haven't wrapped up and you know a lot of the leggings over here these are I believe Athleta so yeah I will um, just grab them and wrap them in the poly mailer after so here are my Gymshark ones and then the I, I group things by like items not by number my goal in 2020 is to get a hold of this so for example this is the extra time it takes so this is like do as I say not as I do so these are pants, right? That I'm looking for the lucky embroidered ones. So I just got lucky. <laughs> See what I did there? But anyways, um, these are the pants that sold. So um, I happened to open this one, but oftentimes I'm going through one, two, three, four bins to try to find my stuff. It's not efficient. My jeans, my jeans are okay because those are grouped according to size. My leggings are both here. But yeah, so I need to number my stuff, but I just haven't yet. So... These are the pants. These are the Gymshark pants over here. So let's go grab a few more things. I'm gonna put these down on my husband's pinball machine. This comes in handy all the time as a shelf. And I'm gonna go grab a few more things. 
This is my bin for bathing suits, and I just want to show you because it's all wrapped up upstairs, but this is one of the pieces that I sold yesterday. Hello. Um, this brand is one of my favorite swimsuit lines. Um, it's Maji. These retail for so much money, um, and they do sell them at TJ Maxx. So I bought these last season. I paid $12. This is when I like to get the yellow tags when there's about five of them on there. So this, uh, they sold this at TJ Maxx for $49.99. I paid 12. I sold one yesterday for $48. Um, I actually sold two bathing suits yesterday. So 12 to 48 or 40. Yeah, 48. I think I did with discounted shipping. So I still have one more for sale. But I just wanted to show you that because that first one is all packaged up. So these are my bathing suits. This is my bathing suit bin. Isn't this lovely? So the other suit that I sold, once I list a bathing suit, I do put it in plastic. So um, like mixed in here. This is real life. Okay, this is what I sold. So this is just a cute Victoria's Secret bottom with a no-name brand top. And I'm going to show you the image that I posted. This particular combo, so it doesn't go together, I put it together, received so many likes. And I think I did a pretty decent job with the flat lay. So you'll see why. I ended up selling it for $15. I love it down here. It's hard. In the basement, it's nice. I get this um, this natural light that comes in in the morning, which I really love. Okay, the next thing I sold was a Greg Norman golf skirt, which I was surprised about um, because again, so yesterday my sale started out with the Maji bathing suit and then the Victoria's Secret bottom with the no name top and then this Greg Norman skirt, all summer spring things. So the first half of my day was $48 and then 15 and 15. So $78 on spring summer stuff. So um, I think this was the first day that I had a moment like, wow, I really am happy I have some spring summer vacation gear listed and I am going to start listing more because they're selling. So this is my skirt bin. I don't sell a lot of skirts. I only have one bin, so that's not too complicated. To the right, that's my shorts bin. So all of these items are listed. So I'm just going to put this camera down because I will break my neck. I pulled down my skirt bin and for the sake of saving your ears from a lot of plastic, I pulled this one to the top. So my skirts are just stacked in here. I have only one skirt bin. It's not a hot selling uh, category for me. So I keep all my skirts in one bin. All of these skirts are listed. This is the Greg Norman skirt that sold yesterday uh, for $15. Um, in addition to that, I have like my shorts that live to the right of where my um, skirts are. So I'm gonna pull those. Lou, do you need to go outside? Can you just go out? Not right now, come on. All right, more, more, more. I'm gonna add this to my pile here and I'm gonna go check my labels to see what else I need to get. This is the bag of shoes from Maine <laughs> that I started to process yesterday. I brought everything upstairs to my dining room table, which is where I do most of my shipping. So I have a few items that have not yet been packed up. Um, I still need to pull one more thing for my bundle, so I'm not going to package that yet. But just to show you what was in the bundle, it was this Trunk LTD sweatshirt. It was a really nice, soft sweatshirt, a Bruce Springsteen one. That was in the bundle. Um, this Lululemon pack, I actually, you may have seen this earlier in the week. I already sold one of them. The lighting here is terrible, um, but it's like a lavender. Um, I got these on retail arbitrage. I had said before, my intention was not to sell them, it was to gift them, so I paid $29 for these, so um, I didn't make a lot of profit on these, but I've sold them both. They, I listed them and they both sold within the week, so um, that is also in the bundle as well as this pink sports bra. So that's all going to my friend Deirdre. This is a Wallace cardigan sweater, it's purple. My good friend Rafaela, the bins queen, handed this to me, oh gosh, a while ago when we were at the bins. Um, I took an $18 offer on this. It's been sitting for a while. Um, Wallace is a brand that is sold at Madewell. It was just a simple cardigan, so I was happy about that. There's the Greg Norman skirt. There's the Maji bra all packaged up. This is the other bikini set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I package these two items. So this is the Lucky Brand sweatpants that sold in the Gymshark. So over here, 
I have my packaging. Everything always gets a sticker and everything always goes in a clear poly mailer. Um, so I will package those up and show you what they look like and give you any tips. And then I have a bunch of these red plaid left over from the holidays. Um, I still really love them, but I'm trying to use them up right now. So let's go. Here's what they look like afterwards and just two points that I want to make. Um, I always do the flap on the back side so that the front part is um, nice and clean and I always like to include some branding on the front. So like it's important to me that I had Gymshark on the front with my thing there and I wanted to make sure that I got some of the embroidery on the front of my packaging. Um, so the backs don't look bad but I just feel like for presentation purposes, I like to have what I want showing on the front. So, oh my gosh, shadows are so bad. So the next step is just to pop them in these poly mailers and then they will get their label and they'll be ready to go. realized I'm pretty hungry so I just made a shake um <laughs> the fact that I even mentioned keto in my video videos is kind of funny because I couldn't be less keto over the past month I feel like my face is all puffy I have like carb face um but in the meantime so I've been starting my day and I'm like oh I'm gonna be keto and I have like eggs and uh, pepperoni and no sugar and then by the end of the day I'm eating like caramel corn so I decided that instead of being so extreme I'm just going to kind of just get through this weekend we have a big big party on Saturday next week will be the first full week of school for the kids I'm not doing any traveling I feel like I'm finally gonna be back so hold me to it starting on this upcoming Monday uh, which I think is January 13th, I'm gonna go back full keto. So in the meantime, I just made myself a shake. It's not keto, but my girlfriend Stephanie sells Isogenics and I love their strawberry shake. So I threw in some um, kale and half of a banana. Uh, the shake and the banana are not very keto friendly. Although I think you can work the shake into a keto diet. You just have to watch your um, macro intake. So um, I just made a shake and I'm actually so excited because I've ha I haven't had one in ages. Okay, here we go. It's the Isa Lean Shake, the strawberry cream. I just added a banana, ice, water, and um, some pre-cut kale. And they are so delicious. I'm craving this like crazy. So I'm like, you know, I can either eat, either eat like a keto bar this morning and then something I shouldn't eat later or I'll just have this and enjoy this and be full and it will be like a treat before I start keto on Monday forgot to print this label and I still have to get one more piece for my bundle. So I'm just going to print this label and put all the mail out because my mailman's going to be here soon and I would rather just mail my bundle individually later than miss the mail. So this has got to go. Oh, it's so nice out today. Super cold, but really nice. Alrighty. Got my packages ready to go. I just have to put that bundle out there. Cool. Um, I just wanted to show you a few things that I picked up at um, TJ Maxx yesterday. Um, there's all the hype about the yellow tags that are out right now, and I love a good yellow tag sale. But I, they just did the first round at my TJ Maxx, so um, I didn't pick up much. I like, like I showed on that bathing suit, I like a stack of yellow tags when they get really cheap. So you obviously have less selection by the time they get to that, but um, the cost of goods is just so much better. So I'll just show you the few things I got. Nothing too crazy. Here's my pile of loot. This Free People shirt I'm keeping for myself. It was half off. $10, normally $68. It's just like an oversized, like mock, comfy, um, and like a tan color. Uh, I'm hoping for a decent return on this. Current Elliott doesn't do great, but I thought these were nice. Um, I often look for what the retail price is too. I have to like it, it has to be a good price. A lot of their jeans in the runway section were more like $20, $30 still, but these were 12, they were Cart and Elliott, and uh, you also have to make sure at TJ Maxx to make sure they have the original tag, because sometimes they don't, and then you're just getting a 
retail. You're just getting a TJ Maxx tag. Anyways, these retailed for $328. And they have this really cool, um, like little studs, I guess, teeny tiny studs. They're like bronze and silver, but they're a cropped um, jean and they're really cute. And I feel like they're a bigger size. Yeah, I got a 30. I'm very low on 30s and 31s and 32s right now. So a lot of the jeans that they had Anthony. Anthony. Sorry. Isn't this cool? I thought this was really, really cool. So I'm not sure where I'm going to price these. Um, usually when the retailer has them priced that high, like 328, if I go around 75% off or just maybe 70, between 65 and 70% off is usually where I'll start. So maybe I'll start these around 85 79 something like that that might be crazy but i have to look and see what's available i just got these tommy they were kind of like just thong pack uh four dollars uh the comps on those were between like 15 and 20 whatever um and then this little so they had a bunch of free people bralettes but most of them they were all three dollars and they all retailed for 20 and they were selling them for three this was the only one that had like this mock neck um, and it retailed for 30 and it was three. So I'll probably list this around 24. I got this for me, some whitening toothpaste. I feel like I need to whiten my teeth. And then I was at a dry shampoo, dry shampoo. And I love this brand. My sister-in-law gave me this for Christmas. She gave me like a lavender face wash and it's really concentrated and I loved it. So I picked this up because it was hemp almond and it was on clearance for $2. Um, I love the lavender one so much. So it's Dr. Brommer's Magic Soaps. It is pretty magic. I gotta say, I've never heard of it before. And um, she, she gave me like a little goodie box for Christmas. So thank you, Carolyn, I love it. Figured we could do some quick comp checks on the jeans. Um, so these are the current Elliott, the vintage crop slim Belmont studded is what they are. So I'm looking at sizing. There's a 31, 25. I'm just seeing if there's another 30 listed. So these are all of the current listings on Poshmark. Um, it looks like every single one of them except for two, for two are new with tags. So definitely some competition there. It looks like the prices range for asking price anywhere between 40 and 179. So I think my kind of 75, 80 dollar is right in the middle. And there are no 30s listed. So I have that going for me. Um, so let me just look at sold because we all know that's the most important button to press. Voila, not a single one has sold. That could be an indication that this wasn't the best buy. It could also mean that, you know, everyone's hitting the yellow sale and it's just reaching Poshmark. <laughs> um, but anyways, for $12, I wasn't worried about it. I'm sure I'll make my money back. It may take a little time. Um, I'm happy that I got a size that was um, not flooded on in the market. So we'll see how it goes, how it goes to be continued. The sun is coming down on this beautiful day in January. It's been over 60 degrees, all the snow is gone. Um, it is January 12th. This vlog has been several weeks in the making and I'm so happy to finally wrap it up and bring you the information about the printer that I've been using and loving. Um, owning a label printer for your business can be a real game changer. Um, I know it was for me. It streamlined biz my business. It made things so much faster for me on a daily basis to be able to print directly onto an adhesive label that I can just stick on my package and go. I want to say a huge thank you to the folks over at Foam Memo for partnering with me. I encourage all of you to go over to their website at foammemo.com and check out all of the wonderful products they have to offer, including the printer that I featured today, which is the, the PM246 Thermal 4x6 Shipping Label Printer. That was a mouthful. They are offering a New Year's savings right now for up to 14% off your purchase. You will be eligible to use their savings in addition to my 5% savings when you use the code Lori Tata at checkout. 
So if you've been on the fence about getting a thermal printer, now would be a great time to gift this to yourself and launch your business into a new level for 2020. Thank you everyone so much for tuning into my vlog. I have a lot more content coming to you this month and thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Take care everyone. See you very